Okay, I'm doing a video on the things that I carry on my venture and on my my smaller bike. I, I don't carry so much, but this is uh, stuff that uh, is in my venture at all times. I'm going to start with the basics. When you're riding, what's going to happen? You're going to get thirsty. Carry water. It's going to rain. Carry a rain suit. My ra and I carry my rain suit in a big old sock. An old motocross sock. My uh, pants, my rain gloves, and my jacket are all in there. And I like to put them in a sock rather than a plastic bag because in a plastic bag it's going to start getting moldy and stinky and you're not going to want to put it on and i've never put a rain suit into the washing machine i don't know how it would stand up but uh, just don't put it into a uh, into a plastic bag i don't i put mine in a sock all right, and the other thing that's going to happen, you're going to get thirsty, you're going to get rained on, you're going to get a flat tire. There are those who have had flat tires and those who will. I have this little, that's a picture of it, compressor. When I bought this, I think they were under 10 bucks at uh, Walmart. And uh, I put them in this little case. I bought a, I bought a bunch of these cases. Uh, and I keep everything there. I buy these packets of uh, vulcanizing glue on eBay. They come from China. The reason I buy the little ones instead of a big one is because once you open them, I don't care how tight you make the lid, that stuff evaporates out of there. So, I, you know, once you open them, they're pretty much throwaway. So I buy them a dozen at a time. They're like 50 cents a piece free shipping on eBay. I think they're just called... Uh, vulcanizing glue or some kind of patch glue or whatever but, and I dated them I bought these in 2015 18 and uh, there's my plugging tools and uh, my plugs are in there and I carry it all in that little package and uh, you see it has that type of a rather than dig it out I just got one out of my other bike this is a socket that uh, takes a cigarette lighter it also takes the plug from that air pump that air pump has a gauge built into it too I forgot to mention uh, that will pump up your a rear tire on a motorcycle like my venture here in about five minutes to 40 pounds and uh, since I have this here is red I have red on the positive wire because with a witter, this is a witter electric vest plug and the female is permanently on my other bike. Uh, I had to know which side is positive for things like my pump and for this little adapter for charging cell phones and helmet cameras. And if I would use a Garmin, I have three Garmins. I don't use any of them because the phone is always updated. All right, and you're gonna hit bugs. I use this Honda spray detailer. It's the only thing I have ever used to wash my motorcycles over the past 30 years. This is great for the windshield. Um, uh, when you do a windshield, you just want to spray the whole windshield and do one wipe, not very hard. You want to spray the entire windshield Concentrate on the insects, let it soak for a while, and then do one pass with the clean rag. Turn it over and do the second pass. You don't want to keep going like this because any grit that you've picked up, and there is grit, you don't want to keep going across the windshield with it. Same with your bike. I do the whole bike with it. When my wheels get really bad, I will maintain i'll clean them when i have uh if i mean if they're really bad i will clean them with uh that honda spray detail or two but i'm i'm not fussy i'm not one of those people that uh, picks fly shit out of pepper i don't care if my bike gets a little dirty 
But anyway, so you're gonna have to clean your face shield and your windshield. You're gonna have to be able to fix flat tires. You're gonna need power for the pump to uh, blow up the tires. You're, it's gonna rain, so you need a rain suit and you're gonna get thirsty. You also have to carry tools. When you do maintenance on your bike, use your tool kit. You will see how useless it is. And you will upgrade tools, like put a good pair of pliers on that you can twist wire with or cut wire with. Uh, you wanna carry a lighter. You wanna be able to build a fire to get warm. In case you, you break down somewhere and your friends are gone, they've gone for help and it's raining and you're pulled over somewhere and it's starting to get cold, you're gonna want to have a fire if for no other reason so they can find you. Okay, uh, I take a 10 foot little coil of wire at all times, stainless wire. You never know if a screw's gonna fall out of something you have to wire on, somebody you're riding with needs it. Carry a pair of scissors. You'd be amazed at how useful these things are. Carry something to put down on the ground if it's mushy so your bike's not going to sink in. I carry the big one with my Venture. I carry this little one with my Kowalski. Carry flashlights. I like this one here. You can get at Harbor Freight. It is a floodlight or it is a concentrated beam and uh, it has a little hook on it and a magnet. So uh, you can position it to where you might have to work in the dark to change a flat to uh, fix a flat tire or something like that. And then I carry one I can hold with my teeth. Put that in my teeth. To keep your, these here, this style of flashlight has a nasty habit of turning itself on. So turn the battery around and that doesn't happen. And then I carry a mag light. Okay, carry a little first aid kit, hand sanitizer, earplugs. I always used these. I like the ones with the tethers on them because you can tie them around your neck, you know, and not lose them. But uh, if you really want to be quiet, these are swimmers earplugs. You get them in the sporting goods section of uh, Walmart for a couple bucks. These are the most comfortable. And uh, they are the quietest. You, uh, you can hear your motor, you can hear everything. It just takes that wind, 90 decibels of wind noise at 60 miles an hour away. But I like these the best. They're called swimmer's earplugs. I'm old fashioned. I like to use paper maps. I don't want to see where I am. I want to see the entire area, what's around. So I carry paper maps. And if you carry a paper map, you want to carry a compass. You don't know which way is up once the sun sets or if it's really cloudy. And uh, here's a 99 cent compass, and here's an expensive compass. And that's north on this one, the expensive one, and that's north on that one, the 99 cent one. I carry this one on my uh, my little bike, and I carry this one on my big bike. But uh, I just I like paper maps. I want to see all the alternative routes. I don't want to see exactly where I am at any moment so much. I use this for when I'm in Georgia or Louisiana. You put that on your license plate and you have a form of uh, diplomatic uh, immunity. Don't ask me where I got this. A lot of sport bikes should carry these. Just put them in your toolkit or jam them somewhere on your bike because if you have to be rescued, you need to be able to strap, hook something 
hook a pair of tie-dons to your bike. Here's how they hook. I put it on my venture for demonstration because a lot of times you can't get the hook from a tie-on around your handlebars or it's tough sometimes. So you need to carry a set of these in case they have to come and rescue you. Uh, I carry these on this bike. But I, I don't know what they're called. Um, but uh, you, you need these to miss the plastic on a lot of bikes. The fairings and that. Bikes with clip-ons. But uh, I carry them on this. And uh, when I tie my bikes down, just in case you don't know, you have to compress the front fork. You have to hook onto the trailer and come up and hook on and come pull, push down on that bike and compress the suspension. If you have those forks compressed all the way with, with tied on straps, you can blast that thing off up to the moon and it's not going to move. You don't tie them down <laughs> with bungee cords. You don't tie them down with rope. I mean, I guess if you had enough rope, you could do it, but you have to compress the front forks, pull them, get them all the way down, and it's not going to go anywhere. All right. Another thing while you're traveling, you're going to get hungry. So that's another reason if you uh, want to pull, you know, I always like to, my friends and I used to like to go into delicatessens and get you know, maybe hot dogs and beans or something more elaborate. You need a lighter to light a campfire in some rest area. You need a fork and spoon, you know, throw these away when you're done. Okay. Uh, you're going to need something to clip your phone to, to be able to watch it. Uh, whenever you're uh, traveling, if you're using it as a Garmin, a map guide so uh, you want to carry something like this this is for my venture and this one's for my smaller bike your eyes get dry you're getting blasted all the time I don't care if you're in behind a full face helmet you want to carry eye drops and you never want to use the kind of eye drops one of them had a slogan their uh, their slogan was gets the red out you don't want to use eye drops that get the red out because they constrict the blood vessels in your eyes. You just want moisturizing eye drops. You might want to carry ibuprofen if you can take ibuprofen. Uh, once uh, you know it gets to be eight or ten hours in the saddle, I always carry a little chapstick too, even in the summer. Okay, when you uh, eat in a roadside stand and about four hours later you wish you hadn't, okay, you need to run into the bushes. I used to carry toilet paper, okay? The problem with toilet paper is if it's raining, it turns to mush. You end up throwing the whole roll away. If it's big and cumbersome, you have to be very careful not to get it wet, okay? A few years ago, I switched to baby wipes. You can buy a pack of baby wipes like this in a dollar store. They're safe for babies. You know, look what they contain, water, glycerin, and a whole bunch of stuff I can't mention to, uh, to be safe. And if you uh, have to use a porta john or go into uh, some uh, biker bar bathroom, you know, you can wipe the toilet seat off with these. They're disinfecting, they're antibacterial. And, you can take a bath with these. If you go some, you know, you're camping, you get stuck somewhere. These are not, this one's a little dried out, but uh, they're usually almost ringing damp, ringing wet. And uh, they're about five by seven inches and they are not flimsy. They're not like toilet paper. So uh, you can literally, you know, you're all sweaty. You know, you didn't, you really didn't get a place to, take a shower in that rest area or wherever you're camping, you can take a bath with these. Not to mention the other function that they serve as uh, toilet paper. So, and they're in this plastic membrane and they're safe. 
scratch you. See, it's true. Um, they're they're protected from water. They're from from getting dirty or whatever. You just you know when in, when nature screams at you and you pull over and run in the bushes, you just grab this and run in. It's there. I like them. I carry a multi-function knife. You know, it's got a saw on there for cutting up firewood. Uh, you know, it's got uh, useful pliers. These are very, it's got a file, different uh, screwdrivers, can opener, uh, bottle opener, which brings me to my toy, toys, tools. Okay, you want to make sure you have all the tools for the fasteners on your bike to do basic things and some things you want to upgrade like I've added this I've, uh, these are out of a Moto Guzzi I had this is out of a BMW uh, I told you about the pliers I added this cruise tool it's got an assortment of Allen wrenches and open ends and it's got three sockets in there that drive off of this this last one with a detent in the end uh, 10 8, 10, and 12 millimeter sockets. Very useful addition. Uh, it's got a square drive, a flat blade, and a Phillips. But uh, more importantly, it's got the uh, hex heads. Besides the wire, throw some zip ties in there in your tool kit. Uh, I mentioned that. Take your owner's manual. I hope you read your owner's manual several times. Keep it in a plastic bag. I keep it in there with my insurance card and my uh, owner's manual and my insurance policy. And up your liability coverage on your motorcycle. I think the minimums now are five or $10,000 in Pennsylvania. For 20 bucks, you can up that to $300,000. So uh, I would up my liability coverage if I were, uh, were anybody. This is a personal mister. I'm going to try to do this one hand. You pump it up. You know, it has water in it. Then you pull the trigger, and out comes a mist. I don't know if you can see that, but... Uh, you fill it about nine tenths of the way up and you pump it up about 10 times and I keep that handy I'll have it in my pocket I'll carry it in my tank bag on my Kawasaki and when I pull up to a stop sign or a red light I'll pull that out and give myself a, a little mist on the neck and uh, that will last about two hours just doing uh, here you fill it up to the fill line these are called personal misters on eBay. I think I paid 10 bucks for this and, and <laughs> they're great. Don't pump it up too high. It'll blow apart because I blew one apart. It broke right up here at the threads. Just do about 10. But uh, these are great on in miserable stinking hot weather, especially when you go to walk around, which brings me to my shoes. I always wear boots. So when I get to where I'm going, I put the shoes on. Okay. When you get there, you're also going to want to put a hat on, protect yourself from the sun all right these are a pair of jumper um, battery jumpers i carry a um, baklava balaclava or whatever it's called uh, for wh when it gets cold you lose most of your heat from the neck up in cold weather this is a uh, arrow stitch this came with my arrow stitch suit uh, it, it's, it's pretty good and uh, I carry a multimeter you know you get these at Harbor Freight they're cheap I used to give them away if you just came in and said hello but uh, I got about 10 of them but uh, you know you use it for you never know see what your battery voltage is if, if you know your bike ain't start and you want to see if you got a dead battery or if you want to see you know test your circuits to see uh, well do I have a blown fuse and you can do a, a uh, check your fuse to see if it's bad if you can't really see but uh, not a bad thing to carry and uh, that's the jumper cables for my Kowalski and these are my jumper cables for my my venture that I made up but uh, 
And of course, a cargo net. My Venture has a rack on it. And I have to be able to attach things to the rack, although I'm not going to carry anything on there. Uh, I never have. I've had bikes with racks on them before on the trunk. I don't even think you can put... I, don't, I wouldn't carry a case of beer on there. I wouldn't put any weight on that, but uh, it's on there and I'm stuck with it. I don't want to be looking at the holes. But anyway, you need a way to attach things there. I guess I could put a bedroll on there. I have a small two-man tent that's a little bigger than a long loaf of bread. I guess I could put that on there. When I go places like, uh, if I'll go to mid-Ohio or up to uh, Laconia or, or somewhere and I want to stay there, I have a uh, small two-man tent I should have dug it out and uh, I'll set that up and I'll put my sleeping bag in there and all my gear inside the tent out of sight out of mind uh, I was showing you that big I mean that little personal mister here's the big one for when it's really hot it's called a cool blast by misty mate this is 16 ounces you put uh, water in there and pump it up I use this one for when I get where I'm going, and it's a miserable hot day. Uh, I remember going to Mid-Ohio to watch the bike races once, and uh, I think it was near 100 degrees. And uh, I walked around with this all day, and I uh, survived. It has a, a shoulder strap, and here's how you turn it on and off by turning this valve. And that hose, I guess that's about 30 inches long. And it's a real fine mist. I got that on, you can, I think I bought that on eBay. I think it was about 25 bucks. And I just checked this morning to see what the name of them was so I could give that to you. And that's what they're called, a personal mister. So anyway, I think that's the basics. I won't leave home without it. I'll see you there.